Greetings, YouTube. I am honored, and I mean honored, to feature this video. You know, I have a lot of rank fours. 19, I think, now. And one thing's for sure. Most of the champions that I have taken to rank four have been obvious top five champions in their class. Falcon might be a lone exception, but I use him so much in Battlegrounds that I am proud of that rank up. But everybody else, I don't think you can go through this and look and be like, wow, that's surprising. Uh, by the way, I should uh, <laughs> tap the four in rank four. But yeah, I don't think anything would be surprising, right? It's all kind of nodding your head, okay. Yeah, that's about right. But the true courage is taking somebody who'd never be in a top 10 champion list, objectively speaking, and saying, that's my next rank four. We have talked for years on this channel about our man, Matthew Robertson, and how we call him the vulture man, Mr. Michael Keaton Jr. And he, um, he said to me something that I thought was truly crazy. He said, Prof, you wait. I'm going to get to Paragon someday. My rank four, my six-star vulture. And I thought, no, you're not. You're going to say that, but then you're going to get to it. And you're like, no, you're going to change your mind. Um, here's the deal. We're about to look at some videos of rank four, SIG 200, Vulture, I believe. The first fight is just the normal guy who needs a better healthcare plan. He brought the all Vulture synergy to all three fights. This fight is just to see how he plays at rank four. Just going with the special two to get the siphon debuff on him to get the huge damage. Second fight is against the gold quest gold pool for the Black Isolus Store members. A normal fight but with enhanced power game. And then he interrupts his special two dance back when he has the siphon debuff on him. Mega damage. And the third is the final fight against 616 Havoc. So, hopefully you're as excited as I am to show this. Shout out to Matt Combat again, Mr. Matthew Robertson, but Matt Combat for short in the game. He has um, his rank four Vulture ready to go. By the way, I think that's exactly what he needed to become Paragon. He has three rank fours. So it's not like he took... Like me, like a 19th champion to rank four, and you're just kind of trying to have some fun. No, he took him up before so many traditionally used uh, champions. And I'm going to hide my webcam to truly showcase the power in these fights. I'll bring it back at the end. I wish the incinerate damage was about double what it is. I think he would be a much better defender that way too. I mean, Vulture, no matter what, if he has special animations, is going to be, you know, fairly easy. I don't, I don't anticipate anything being super difficult. But, you know, if you're punishing that incinerate damage with like at least a thousand per tick, imagine like say Nick Fury's uh, bleed damage when he starts out. That would be helpful. But you're looking at that uh, damage. And it's still, you know, fairly substantial. Now, it's a rank 4 6-star, so of course it should be. Here's the special 2. Stun bleed. Incinerate. And then... You know, it's it's a standard fight. I will say that, like, again, objectively speaking, for this specific fight, he's hitting, like, some pretty dang good rank 2 6 stars, maybe rank 5 5 stars. But he loves Vulture. Always has and always will. And I say screw what anybody else says about this being a waste or whatever. Uh, I'm proud of him for sticking to his guns. And he does have some really unique utility that we're going to feature after watching the man who desperately needs a better healthcare plan. Because yes, uh, this is a champion that if you're going to use 93 hits to take down Rebel Legends Winter Soldier, that is five star like. All right, so that's video number one. Again, this is a shorter video for a gold pool fight. I've actually never done this quest because, of course, if you know my... Uh, roster you know that i uh always have an abundance of gold 500 million gold to be exact although looks like matthew's got 15 million gold it's pretty good too all right so let's just see how in a quote-unquote normal 
high end fight, he's able to do this. Okay. Standard fair. Pushes him to a special three, but he just has the unblockable special two. Special two himself. Siphon burn. Takes a few hits. Whatevs. It's just a fight. And those incinerates are helping. And there you go. Okay. Now, one of the fights that's the most annoying is the fight that we're going to see last. I do declare. And that is uh, him to go back and fight a Havoc. Who's still a pretty dang popular Battlegrounds defender, I might add. All right, here we go. Nice combo. Heavy. Immune to the incinerates, so not really benefiting in that capacity. And then Special 2, Siphon Burn. Notice how he's not worried about the plasma charges like so many other champions already would have been at this time. And nice intercept, Matthew. Heck yeah, I feel like a proud parent at this point. And he's just, you know, he's solid. I'm not saying that this should convince you or me or anybody else to take their vulture to rank 4, because I think that would be irresponsible of me to say such a thing. But what I, what I will say is that this is a success story to me of why we play this game. And I just want to wrap up this video by saying, screw polls, screw YouTubers, Reddit, Line, Discord, forums, you name it. None of that matters as much as your happiness in the game. Our man, Sweeta has been a great example of this for years. Where he'll take somebody like Kamala Khan or Spider-Gwen pre-buff, take them to, back then, the most max you could do was rank 5 5 stars, and then just melt people. Because, Kabam likes to say this, although I think they over-exaggerated a ton, every champion has amazing utility and damage potential in the right matchups. Now, I, I still have some champions that I'm waiting to see what those matchups are for them other than Kabam Mike's lover of Cyclops and Alliance War. But regardless, like, this is cool. And maybe he does use Stark Spidey and War Machine and Venom and Miles Morales every day. I don't know. That's that Vulture squad he loves so much. Either way, Matt, congrats. First Rank 4 Vulture gameplay on YouTube, and I'm honored to have featured you in it.